The reason why I used to not make decisions in my life and I would go with the flow. Nobody wants to go with the flow with their life, trust me. Like, I'm not trying to just go with the flow. I'm trying to literally get stuff done. So I used to be scared of making decisions because either I didn't know the outcome to the decision. I would put myself in a situation where a lot of people would expect a lot from me and maybe I was scared that I couldn't deliver, you know, like... That's like you holding yourself back. So unsubscribe from all those feelings. They do not serve you. All those feelings come because your mind is in survival mode. Your mind is not trying to keep you little. Let's, let's understand why your mind is on survival mode. That's all your mind knows. Your mind knows how to survive. It knows that you've never done this before, okay? It can't tell you what the outcome is, so it's safer not to try. And it is safer. It's safer to be average. It's safer to go with the flow. But you know what? Because you're here watching this video, you probably have never gone with the flow. And if you ever did go with the flow, you didn't like it. That was not your vibe. That was not your flow. It wasn't until I decided to raise my standards, raise the standards in my life and the decisions that I made that I started to see little changes in my life every day, really. And I learned that the only difference between the 1%, people who are financially free, happy, living their best life, and people who are unhappy, waking up, miserable, going to jobs that they hate, the only difference is the decision-making skills. And obviously, one party is doing so much better than the other, but what is, like, why are we making these mistakes with the decisions that we make, you know? and. I want to talk about building that muscle, that decision-making muscle, because it is a muscle. We can always get better. I have success stories from so many people that come from different conditions of life. Like we have people who have had advantages in money, genetics, relationship connections. Those people, some may argue that it's even harder for them to be successful because they have life handed to them at a silver platter. They really don't have to do anything. So why would they, you know? It takes a different kind of animal to still want more. And on the other hand, we have people who are not given anything, who were destined to fail. There's no reason for these people to make it, but yet the underdog somehow finds a way. So I really wanna emphasize that anybody can change the conditions of their life by making the right decisions, you are the one that can form your own destiny. In order to make better decisions so that you can change your life, you have to practice. Practice makes perfect. I don't care what it is, basketball, piano, life. You can learn something, read about it, study it, master it. But if you don't do it, you're really never going to know the feeling. You're not going to witness it with your own body. You're feeling everything. So do it. You know what I mean? Knowledge is power, but action is what comes after. In order to build your decision-making skills, we need to really be in charge of our daily decisions because a lot of our decisions, we like to say, is that we're going with the flow. Our subconscious mind takes over a lot of the time. And that's how you stay average and i hate when people say like oh some people are okay with being middle class or being mediocre and i have never i have never met somebody that if i tell them what kind of life they want they're gonna say i'm okay with being an average mediocre person like nobody's gonna say that difference is that you need to take control of your life we can't just talk about it we have to be about it and practice is gonna take us there because basketball player probably no not probably they practice multiple times a day and kobe was in the gym kobe was in the gym rest in peace when people were sleeping he was always practicing he was always becoming an expert in the game because he never stopped learning and when you make a decision honey be about your word you know don't don't lie to yourself i said this in another video about gaining confidence don't you lie to you if you say that you're gonna do something do it do it if you say that you're gonna eat better and you see a donut decide that your decision to eat healthier is the only outcome 
So even if you have to deny everybody, everybody comes at you with a donut at work like, <laughs> no, baby, I do not want a donut. That donut does not serve me, okay? Maybe on my cheat day I'll have it, but not today, boo, okay? The decisions that I used to make when I was in my 20s, I feel like they were to serve other people, you know? Like, I went to college because my mom wanted me to go to college. Her, in her generation, if you went to college, you were going to be successful. And I had to really prove myself to her that it could be another way, you know? And I prove that to myself every day with the decisions that I make. I decided not to go to college, but I decided that I was going to be somebody too. You know what I mean? So if you make a decision, practice it. Don't be scared. Every single time we make a decision, there should be only one outcome and it will be growth. Never really fail when you make a decision. It's always a positive outcome because by you making that decision, you learn now how to make better future decisions, period. If you never made a decision before, if you allow the outer world to tell you what to do, you don't really know how to make decisions and you're going to make bad decisions. Even if you practice so much, you're always going to make a bad decision. But it's your job to view that bad, bad decision as a learning tool, okay? I done made this bad decision. But how am I going to make a better one tomorrow? How am I going to grow from this? Because I always choose growth. I always choose growth. And when you always choose growth, there is no losing. Your knowledge bank just grows and grows and grows. A bit off topic, but I now believe that I, Carolina, I am not my mind. My mind is a totally different entity than I am. My mind can suggest decisions for me. Ooh, you can suggest and give me as much advice as you want from what you know, because your knowledge is from memories, you know, from the environment, from people, from situations only that we've been through. But I am the one, I, not my mind, my mind gives me the suggestions, but I am in charge of making the final decision. And if I always choose growth, then it doesn't matter what my mind suggests. If it tells me, no, you can't do this, you're not supposed to make a YouTube channel. You're supposed to be at work, honey. You're supposed to be saving every dollar that you have because you never know if there's gonna be this, that, do, 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 do. And my mind suggested that to me, but guess what? I made the decision. I made the decision last year that I was going to be happy that I was going to be financially free and that I was going to serve everybody in the world and that I was going to help the world. How can I serve someone else? I made that decision. That's not what my mind told me to do. That's not what everybody, you know, in my family told me to do. But sometimes you just gotta break the rules and take risks. And if it wasn't for me quitting my job and making that decision and committing to the greatness, I would have never been here as happy as I am today. I hope that this video has kickstarted you to start building your decision skill muscle by practicing it daily, by being in charge of the decisions. And when you say you're gonna do something or not do something, let that be the only outcome possible. There's no, no changing it. You already gave me that decision, period. You a boss. Okay, leave me a comment right now that says I am going to decide to be in charge of my life because if you write it, if you put it out in the world, that's how much more it's going to be true. So leave me a comment. Tell me that you are deciding your life, sis, because if not you, then who? The outer world. And no, we don't want to let that happen.